All right, on today's lesson, we're gonna improve your time, your groove, your feel in a quick and easy lesson. I have never seen this done on YouTube, so I'm really excited to show this to you. A diminishing click is the same as a metronome, only rather than going and clicking like a metronome does consistently, it starts to drop off and diminish. All the clicks start to diminish, so the ultimate intent is that you internalize the metronome, right? You internalize the click so you don't actually rely and need the metronome after a while. So what we're gonna do is gonna go over three exercises at three different tempos so that you can practice these diminishing clicks. <laughs> So the first exercise at 80 BPM is just gonna be E dominant to A dominant. Okay? And what's that's gonna look like if we wanna do it really, really slow? It's just this little thing and I'm gonna hammer on. I'm gonna do a little hammer on right there uh, with my middle finger. And then we're gonna also do my hammer on for that A dominant. So we're kind of playing an A minor seven and then doing a little hammer on makes it nice and bluesy, right? Don't try to do licks, don't try to get fancy with it. Just literally try to keep the pocket and see how long you can hold on to for. This is a really, really great exercise. It will challenge even the best players. Uh, and if you are a beginner or intermediate, this is even better because you're gonna get in at a time when you're still developing and you will develop good time rather than develop bad habits and have to fix them later on. Okay, that was our first groove and that is good for the 80 BPM diminishing click. For the 90 BPM, here is the exercise we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do for this 90 BPM exercise, we're gonna play an A major and then we're gonna play a D. First inversion, so it looks like this. We're doing like little hammer on. Literally, you could play anything. You could literally just strum an A chord the entire time or a G chord. Uh, this is supposed to be a little fun musical exercise, but you can totally twist it and turn it and make it your own. But here is what we're gonna do for uh, the purposes of this practice routine. Again, there is a free download if you wanna practice at your own speed to these diminishing clicks. There's gonna be a free download in the description. Okay, so A, D, A, and so on and so forth. This exercise should absolutely be challenging and it is so, so fun and worthwhile because it'll build your confidence on the instrument. It's gonna build your confidence as a rhythm guitar player, which transfers over to lead guitar playing as well. Here is the third and final exercise at 110 BPM. <laughs> It's gonna be a little more challenging, right? But I know you can do it. It's just one of those things that at a faster tempo, things are gonna be cooking a little more. And you know, it's one of those things that the more you do it, the better you get at it, okay? So this is, just build this into your practice regimen. Okay, and the, the chord progression is E minor seven. Sounds like this, B minor seven. A minor seven. B minor seven. Okay, so it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? And it's, it's just like that, okay? So three different exercises at three different tempos for diminishing clicks. Again, if you wanna practice this on your own, I highly encourage it. There is a link in the description. It is completely free to download these diminishing clicks. You can practice at your own pace, your own speed, and it'll really, really improve your time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you all very soon.